So do you want to make your Minecraft go from this to this? Well today I'm going to show you how you can do that using shaders. So before we get started there are two main methods of running shaders. The first method is to use fabric sodium which will give you more performance, however it's a bit more difficult to set up and it doesn't offer as many features. The second method is to use Optifine. Optifine isn't going to give you as much performance, but the setup is fairly straightforward and it does offer more features and more compatibility. In this video we're going to be using the Optifine method because it's easier, but if you do want to use the sodium fabric method then I'll leave a video link in the description below. So the first thing you need to do is to download Optifine and to do this you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to optifine.net and I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're here you want to click on the downloads tab just at the very top and then you want to select your version of Minecraft you want shaders for. So in this case we're going to be using 119.4. Once you're ready you want to click on the download button. You will then be greeted with a full screen ad and after 5 seconds a skip button should appear in the top right. You just want to click on that and then it will bring you to this download page. From here you just want to click on the download button once again. And then you want to go ahead and save the Optifine install into your computer. So in this case, I'm going to use my desktop. So now we've got Optifine downloaded, we just need to download our shaders. And in this example, we're going to be using the complementary reimagined. Now I'll leave a link in the description below. The reason why we're using complementary reimagined is because it's the most popular shader pack right now, and for good reason. It tries to preserve the unique and balanced look of Minecraft, and it's also fairly decent on performance compared to other shaders. It's also one of the easiest shader packs to customise, while giving you some detail to play around with, so if this is your first time, I highly recommend using this shader pack. So to download this shader pack, we'll need to click on the versions tab just at the very top, then you want to select which version of Minecraft you want to use it for, so in this case we're going to be using the latest version. You then want to click on the download button, and then save the shader pack onto your computer, so in this case we're going to be using our desktop just as we did before. So now we've got Optifine and our shaders downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install them. So to do this you want to right click on the Optifine file, hover over open with and you want to open it with the Java platform. If you still don't see this you want to click on choose another app, then you want to choose Java from the list of apps here. If you still don't see this it means you need to install Java to your computer and I will leave a video link in the description below which will show you how to do exactly that. So once you're ready you want to click on always and then the Optifine installer should open up and it will look like this. So installing Optifine is fairly straightforward, we just need to make sure our file directory is correct, in which case it is, and then you just simply want to click on install. This will take a few seconds to install, and once it's done you get the pop-up message, so you want to click on OK, and now Optifine has been installed to Minecraft. So all we need to do now is to install our shader pack. To do this you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and in the version drop down menu you want to select, you want to open the Optifine version. From here you want to click on play, and then load up the Optifine version of Minecraft. So once you're in Minecraft, all we need to do now is to install our shaders. To do this, you want to click on the options menu and then go into video settings, and you'll notice it looks slightly different, and that's because you've got Optifine installed. From here, you just want to click on shaders, and then you want to click on shaders folder, and this will open up the shader pack folder. From here, we just need to drag and drop the shaders we downloaded earlier into the shader pack folder, and then we can click out of it. You will then notice the shader pack has been added to this list, so you just want to click on it and then give it a few seconds to activate, and this can depend on the speed of your computer. Once the shaders has activated, you can click on done and you can exit out of this menu and your shaders will be working as intended. Now if you notice your performance isn't very good, all you need to do is go to the options menu and video settings and as usual you can turn down all of these settings to get better performance. Now if you're still looking for better performance, as shaders can be quite hard to run, you want to go back to the shaders folder, and then you want to make sure you're highlighted on the shaders you want to change. You then want to click on shader options, and then you want to go through the settings. I recommend just changing the profile to low or potato to get better performance, and then click on done. This will automatically change the preset of the shaders, to lower the settings and give you better performance. So if we go back to our game, our performance is much better and it still looks quite good for saying we are on low settings. And that is how you install shaders to Minecraft. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to one of me if I find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.